Welcome everyone to this video. So this is the Ariane 5. It's the European Space Agency's heavy lift vehicle. Today we're going to try and make it fully reusable using propulsive landings where possible. Of course this means covering it in fins and landing legs and all that good stuff. Our first tests are going to be low altitude, so we'll lift it off from the pad and then we'll separate and we'll try and land the individual stages. We've also added a manned pod as our payload. Of course, because this is KSP, our first attempts didn't go so well, so let's take a look at those. But eventually we got it right, so this is our first successful low altitude test of a reusable Ariane 5. The first staging event is the SRB's burnout and separate. Because we're flying low altitude we don't relight the first stage, we just separate that as well. And we'll fire the second stage engine just to push it away. With the second stage separated, we will deploy the fairing and we'll also separate the capsule. Now let's try and land everything. So despite the teeny tiny landing legs and the very small liquid engines and tanks I've attached to the SRBs, they do float down successfully. Of course they fall over as soon as they hit the ground, but look, there's no smoke or fire. That means they're reusable. The second SRB comes down just the same, no drama. And of course also topples over, but with no damage. The first stage is surprisingly easy to land propulsively because of that big powerful engine. The landing legs deploy, the first stage touches down, no problem, and stays upright. The second stage is stable, but much trickier to land propulsively. So the engine is really weak, because it's a vacuum engine, and it doesn't have enough delta V to burn the entire way down, so you have to keep switching it off and back on again, and either way, it does land hard, but it survives just fine, so that's a success. The capsule has some massive Super Draco thrusters on the side of it, so that has no problems just touching down softly. So it's time for our orbital tests. 
With the orbital version we had to change it slightly, so the SRVs in first stage now come back under parachute. This is because they just don't have enough delta V to both get to orbit and do a boost back burn towards the pad, so either way they're coming down in the sea. Second stage and capsule will still land propulsively. So here it is, liftoff for our orbital test flight of the fully reusable Ariane 5. So after the SRVs burn out, they separate and the first stage relights to continue its ascent. The SRBs come back under parachute and I found that you need four parachutes on these to make the touchdown speed soft enough because if these touch down too hard they just break apart. The SRBs will of course tip over in the water but they'll come down so softly they'll remain undamaged. and touchdown of our first SRB and it's actually really close to the space center. You can see there when it splashes down in the sea, no damage, no smoke, reusable. Same with the second SRB. Another controlled upright descent to the sea for another soft touchdown and no damage done to the booster. The SRBs are probably the easiest part of the vehicle to bring home. You just arm the chute and the rest takes care of itself. So with the SRBs successfully touched down, it's time to look at the trickier stuff. But first we'll rejoin the vehicle on its ascent to orbit. The first stage burns out and separates and the second stage lights to continue to orbit. First stage re-enters relatively stable and has no problem pointing retrograde for its atmospheric descent. Parachutes deploy and it floats down, but you'll ask, why are there so many RCS thrusters on the side of a booster? You have to fire the RCS just before touchdown, as if the vehicle is left to tip over on its own, it will tip over too hard and break up, whereas with the RCS it's a controlled, deliberate tilt, and the booster survives to be reused another day. So let's try propulsive recovery of second stage and capsule from orbit. The second stage cuts off once it reaches orbit. We deploy the fairing and separate the capsule. The second stage then performs its deorbit burn. The target is the space center. The second stage survives re-entry no trouble and it's stable the whole way down. And as soon as we reach the atmosphere, we can deploy the fins. We let the fins do most of the braking. Our first landing burn takes place and the legs deploy. We then shut off the engines and we'll burn again closer to the ground. And the second stage comes down for another firm but undamaged and reusable touchdown. It's time to bring home the capsule. So we fire the Super Dracos for a deorbit close to the space center. And even with its massive fuel tank, the capsule stays completely stable through re-entry and descent. With no fins, the capsule just free falls until the Super Dracos fire. and we get a soft touchdown of the reusable capsule also. So that is how you make the Ariane 5 a fully reusable human rated vehicle in KSP. The downloads in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care.